performers in the lineup, uh, starting with uh, Beyonce, and uh, I think Patti LaBelle is going to receive some special award. So, yeah, it's, it's going to be a big night tomorrow night on BET, I believe 7 o'clock is the time here in our um, viewing area. This uh, new, com well, he's not new. You know, we always say new when, when someone who's been sort of working um, for years and not getting a whole lot of recognition or profile certainly suddenly comes into the spotlight. We think they're brand new. But this comedian, Kevin Hart, is uh, going to be hosting the the big event. So we're going to see how he does as host. You know, it's not easy to host anything, you know, uh, but to, to be on stage in front of all those people hosting a big award show where millions of people are tuned in and it's live. Yeah, so we'll see how he does. I'm sure he'll do well. Um, yeah, so anyway, that's going to be going on tomorrow night and uh let's see what else do we have here i know i seem like i'm so prepared today don't i <laughs> i told you nick what you can't this be so well prepared every day sometimes you just gotta wing it and see how it goes you know if i didn't love this so much i would have called in today it's just been one of those weeks but i just love being here and doing this and I think my audience has listened long enough. In fact, sometimes people will call and say, oh, what's wrong with you today? <laughs> <laughs> like Bob. Bob's a big fan, by the way. Oh, hey, Bob. Thanks for calling <laughs> in and saying hello. Appreciate that. All right. So, Nick, have you heard about this one? I know you have. Scotty Pippen. Oh, how he said LeBron was better than Michael Jordan. <laughs> All mm. right, Come on, so Scotty. he's cleared everything up. Come They're saying, now, uh, according to uh, the Chicago Sun Times and Tribune, he apparently um, hosted some kind of camp or something out in Lyle um, just mm. yesterday, I think. And you know, to the crowd there, he commented on on those remarks Did because he's. He Did he, he clarify? Yeah, because he said he he really had no idea what backlash had occurred behind that because mm -hmm. after that um was it an espn interview or something where those was. remarks were made mm -hmm. he said he started traveling he was on vacation and when he does that he really doesn't listen to the news or mm -hmm. read the paper or anything I, but i'm surprised no one called him and said man yeah. are you in trouble <laughs> yeah i'm sure he knew come on but anyway he was addressing it at this uh camp or wherever he was in lyle and he said that um there was no way that he meant that lebron mm -hmm. was better than jordan we he he went on to say that he know that we all know that Jordan is the best player ever. He said what he said was taken out of context. I think he was, To too. some degree. Mm -hmm. And um, that he and Michael have communicated several times since then, so there's <laughs> no animosity or, or trouble between the two of them, you know. And, uh, yeah, that's pretty much it. If Michael's not going to hold a grudge, then I won't either. How yeah, I didn't. I didn't because... I mean, there were, you saw the newspaper uh, articles, they were saying he was just jealous and, yeah. you know, this no. and that. And I clearly, there was no way he could have have meant that. Yeah, I didn't buy, I, I, I'm sure it was, I, I don't know if you, you have the article there, I don't know if uh -huh. the, the original quote is in the article. Well, let's see, is it here? Um, da -da 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 -da. He says... Um, is probably the Jordan is probably the greatest scorer. James quote may be the greatest player ever to play the game. I wonder what t context he meant because <laughs> that uh -oh. sounds pretty straightforward. Uh oh. Yeah. Well, yeah. I'm glad so, he's at least taking it back. Yeah. So yeah, he has retracted or cleared it up, <laughs> as they say, and there is no um, harm done uh, in terms of his relationship with Jordan. So you know, there you go. Um, and if Michael Jordan would like to call the Cafe Society, we'd be happy to have him on. Absolutely, Scott.
everybody. Mm-hmm. Michael, you know, we go way back. Give us a call here at Maryland's <laughs> Cafe Society. 815-254-7300 is the number if you want to comment on this. It's sort of kind of old news, although he brought it back up just to kind of clear the air. And the boy, LeBron. He is so hated on. I feel so sorry for him. Although I have to, you know, I have to say that his his comment was a little harsh, but he's a young man and I'm I'm not trying to defend him. You know what mm-hmm. comment I'm talking about. Are you right? talking about the comment where it I don't know exactly what what words he used, but something to the effect like uh, man, you know, man, those, man, 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 yeah, I'm rich and I get Like to those go. poor people have to go back to their poor <laughs> lives even though I lost. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I think well, that was taken a little out of context, too. Yeah, I, you know, he, he, um, I think he used clearly, the wrong words. clearly, clearly stressed. Mm-hmm. And, you know, he, he's been catching it mm-hmm. for a long time now after leaving Cleveland. Mm-hmm. And then he really caught heat, you know, uh, behind the, the, the Three Musketeer, uh, uh, routine, you know, we the, the 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 how they were going to be champions. I I never followed it the stories that much to know exactly what was being said, but mm-hmm. just hearing people say that, oh yeah, they were doing all this tough talk about how they were going to be the NBA champions. Chris B- Chris Bosh and um, Dwayne Wade and LeBron James, the Magnificent Three, and blah blah blah. And so people were criticizing them when they were losing. Mm-hmm. And then they finally made it to um, the finals and they weren't performing up to par. And so, you know, he's he was catching it. He has been catching it. And then some people were just being outright rude, I think, uh, to him, you know, just hating saying how they wanted to see him lose and they're glad he lost and so forth and so on. So um, when you always come back, especially if you're the person of the stature that he is with a remark that could be perceived Mm -hmm. as a below the belt punch, people always get, um, I think, disappointed in some respects and very upset in others because they feel that he should be the bigger man and, and should not have made those mm-hmm. comments. But, you know, you, you take it with a grain of salt and keep rolling. Yeah. That's what I say. I, I, think, I, I don't think he meant what some people think, say he meant. I don't think he was being derogatory in any way. I think he was saying, look, you know what? Yeah, people hate us. They're going to wake up tomorrow just like I'm going to wake up tomorrow. We're we're all going to move on. I think that was his point that everything's going to it's going to pass. We're going to move on from this. You know, you might think it's a big deal now, but it's not. In mm-hmm. the grand scheme of things, it's not a big deal. Mm-hmm. People can hate me. That's fine. We're just going to move on. Mm-hmm. And I think that's what he meant. Mm-hmm. And I, I'm not a big LeBron James fan. I I think he he brought a lot of this criticism onto himself when he wanted to go live on ESPN to announce where he's taking his talents. Okay. But, uh, yeah, I think that was taken a little out of context. So I'm in, I'm in his corner in that one. But, oh, well, at the end of the day, the decision is his. But, you sure. know, sometimes they have their people around them uh, who suggest, why don't you do it this way? Why yeah. don't you do it that way? But, yeah, I, I, I hear what you're saying. Mm-hmm. But I'm a LeBron James fan. I, I think he's a wonderful basketball player and um, – uh, for a young man, a young man, did he finish college? He did not go to college. He did not go no. to college. You know, when you can come out of high school and handle those kind of pressures, mm-hmm. um, I don't live it, so I don't know what it's like, but I've heard about it. When you can handle all of that and pretty much uh, keep your keep your composure. I mean, because I know some who would have just flipped completely out. Yeah, I don't know. I don't think I could have handled it out of college. I don't think I can handle it now. <laughs> right, you know. Yeah. Uh, and we've seen that with some of the young bull. Well, what's the guy, Noah? Joe Kim Noah, yeah. The, 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 with the hair? <laughs> yeah, the comment that he made in a fan oh. was right on his back, yeah. hackling him. Hmm. He made an inappropriate comment, but I can still understand. Well, well, yeah, come yeah. on. The guy is right there in yeah. his ear. You know, they're in the middle of a champion. You know, the finals, it's mm-hmm. stress and pressure. And these, these are young men, you know, young mm-hmm. men who are learning. They're still learning how to, that self-control, you know, yeah. certainly they should be much better than they were at 14, but... Yeah. They're still only 19, 20, 21, 22. Yeah, we're all still yeah. learning, really, if you get down to it. 
All right. So anyway, Pippin cleared <laughs> everything up. Jordan's the best ever. We all knew that anyway. Thank right? you, Scott. He, he's now welcome back into Illinois. <laughs> yes, Scotty, you're, you can come back. 